So welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the fight which has been made between Jordan Gill versus Zelfa Barrett. Now this fight is going to be taking place on the 13th of April this year and it's going to be taking place in Manchester. Now this is a good fight between both of these guys um, and they go into this fight with good records to be honest. Um, Zalfa Barrett currently is 30, 30 wins, sorry, uh, 2 losses with 16 KOs to his name, um, suffering that 1 uh, KO loss as well. Um, whereas Jordan Gill is 28 wins, 2 losses, uh, 1 draw. He's got 9 KOs to his name and 2 KO losses on, on, on his record, so his 2 losses were KO defeats. But the difference is, for me, is going on their last performances in this fight. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail as well. Uh, as this fight goes closer as well, as it gets closer towards April, I probably will do another pre-pre-fight video just to give you guys my thoughts in regards to probably a bit more breakdown and who I feel has probably got the advantage. But this is just a, a little video just to, you know what I mean, and pretty much put the fight out there and give you guys my initial thoughts. But, um, yeah... Both of these guys are not ranked in the top 15 in their in their division. Both guys are super feather weight fighters. Um, but in Britain, Jordan Gill, according to BoxRec, you can't really trust BoxRec all the time, but is ranked number number two in the world. You know what I mean? And uh, Zelfa, again, according to BoxRec, is ranked number three. So it, it, it's quite a good competitive fight between both guys. The height difference is near enough the same as well, five foot seven. And obviously the reach is near enough the same for both fighters. So not much difference there. Now the age, uh, Jordan Gill's 29 according to Box Rec and Zelfa's 30. So again, quite similar in age for these guys. But for me, as I mentioned a second ago, you know what I mean? It's their last performances. Um, Jordan Gill's last performance against Michael Conlon was an ex you know what I mean? It was his career best performance to date. Um, it was exceptional. And he absolutely schooled Michael Conlon. And obviously, we now know that Michael Conlon obviously has retired, um, which is a shame because obviously he had a brilliant career, brilliant fighter, but he's some good fights as well, Michael Conlon. But that night when these guys fought, you know what I mean, last year back in December, it was all about Jordan Gill, you know what I mean? He turned up and he was motivated. He was... He was he was, um, you know what I mean, determined to get that victory over him. And as I said, he kind of schooled him. I know it was the, on the, on the points-wise, it was quite close. You know what I mean? The referees had it at the time. I think all three had it 57 to 56. But to me, you know what I mean, he hurt Michael a load of time in that fight. And uh, obviously got the KO victory in the end, the TKO stoppage in round seven. But yeah, brilliant performance and that performance can make or break a fighter because realistically it's quite hard to, to top a performance like that sometimes. And, you know what I mean, to better that, it's quite tricky because, as I said, he was on his A game. He was A plus, I should say. Um, so depending on how he comes out now against uh, Zel Zelfa, will be interesting to see that. But as I said... If you know what I mean to beat someone like a Zalfa Barrett, you're gonna need to put that same performance in, because Zalfa Barrett's got some good, good skills behind him as well. Sharp, fast, good footwork. The only thing now I'd probably say with Zalfa is that he lacks power at times. Yes, he's got a you know what I mean. He's, he's quick, as I mentioned. He's got a good one-two and a good jab, but. You know what I mean. Sometimes that right hand, I thought I feel as if he struggles to keep fighters off him. Um, and sometimes because he's struggling to keep them away from him, you know, what I mean, it could potentially, you know, what I mean, lead to them putting pressure on him, um, and then he has to use his footwork and um, just to try and get away and stay away from the fighter. And that 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 was quite evident in the Rakimov fight. So if you guys go back and watch that, you know, what I mean, he struggled to keep Rakimov off him. And I know you're probably thinking, you know what, but that's Rakimov. You know, I mean, Rakimov could do that to most fighters, and I, I, and you're probably right. But it just goes to show, as I said, there's levels in boxing. I've said it multiple times in different videos. Um, to be the best and to be the elite, you know what I mean? Sometimes you have to have that slight difference. And as I said, Zelf has got all the skills in the world. I just feel as if he lacks in that power department. But anyway, this is boxing and anything could pretty much happen. Um, and it's quite a tricky fight to call because if you would have asked me, before um, 
Jordan Gill's last performance against Michael Conlon, who would win this fight on clear as day, say is Alpha Barrett. I wouldn't even consider uh, saying Jordan Gill would win it. But after that performance, I, I'm, I'm quite I'm sitting on the fence here because um, a part of me wants to say Zelfa because I like Zelfa as a fighter. But I just think, you know I mean, after a performance like that, you know what I mean, you're going to be full of confidence. And, you know what I mean, you, you're going to go into your next fight believing that you could do anything. So I have to say that this fight probably will go to the scorecards. I feel as if it will go, yeah, to the scorecards. And I'll probably have to edge, probably have to edge slightly a Gill, a Jordan Gill performance. I feel as if he probably will just do enough to maybe win, you know what I mean, the minds of the judges. But it's, it's a, as I said, it's a tricky one to score. Um, but anyway, you guys can let me know your thoughts. You know what I mean? Are you with me? Do you feel as if Jordan Gill might edge it on points? Or do you think that um, Zelf has got the skills to just deal with him, really? Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. And as I said, as I get closer to the date, um, I will do a bit more of a comprehensive breakdown, um, a pre-fight and obviously post-fight video for, for this fight as well. But as always, please subscribe. Bless.